we are going to stuff rabbit sausages. Rabbit's one of our favorite things to eat. We love eating rabbit. It's just like chicken. It's a very lean meat and it is very delicious. So let's try something new today. Here we go. As you can see, we have broken down this rabbit. It's very, very easy and very, very simple. So we have our hindquarters right here. Look at them beautiful hindquarters on a rabbit. It looks better than a trick chicken drum, don't it? We have the back strap. We have the two front shoulders and the neck. I'm gonna get the neck trimmed up, but this is what a rabbit should look like after it's deboned. Now, a rabbit has these inside tenderloins. We're gonna clean up some of this fat. We're gonna be using a little bit of our beef tallow fat in the fridge, which I think will make a better product than using this rabbit fat. So clean up the fat best you can, and let's get to grinding. We have ourselves some LEM hog casings right here, been soaking in warm water. You want to make sure that they are in warm water. They are very pliable and getting all that salt out because they were in salt. And you can start, still see some of this. You want to make sure the water is clear. So we're probably going to rinse these out a few more times. Now, get you a scale. We're going to weigh this out. We're going to do like a 30% fat ratio with our beef tallow. And we're going to mix it in with that. So we need an exact weight. So let's get this weight on here. Put us a bowl, clear this baby out, just like so. And let's get our rabbit in here. Oh, just like that. Okay, so we got, you wanna use ounces on this to get an exact 70, 30 is what we're gonna do with the fat ratio. So let's get started. So we have our beef fat from our steer. We are going to cut 10 and a half ounces out of here. Don't that look pretty? It looks beautiful. So let's do that and we'll get it on a scale. Okay, so we got our fat ratio ready. Doesn't have to be perfect, just make it how you like it. So we did, we did 11 ounces to 38, so it's pretty close. And you could put this in the freezer to make your grinding process go a little easier. This is really frozen, so I'm not too worried about the fat smearing straight out of the freezer so let's get to grinding this stuff little bit of fat little bit of meat little bit of fat little bit of meat here we go all right so if you put this contraption in the freezer it helps your grinding process so much get your attachments put on see how ice cold that baby is All right, so we'll put our sausage stuffer piece in. You don't need a blade because we already grinded it twice. This came out of the freezer, it's nice and cold. Everything needs to be cold when you go to stuff in these sausages. All right, we gotta add our water into this and make this real tacky and start working it up. Take your water, 10% water and weight. Now let's just start really working this till it's tacky. It's got to be tacky. See, we want to work this meat. We want it tacky. You take it, grab your handful, smack it on your hand. It stays there. That's tacky. That's what you're looking for. Every sausage guy probably already knows that if you're watching, but you want it tacky. Because let's get our casing on our stuffer. All right, so get to the end, tie yourself a knot, just like any sausage making. Real simple, real easy, just a quick, quick knot. Save yourself some room. So now what you wanna do is pull this to the end of the knot for our rabbit sausage. Now get you a needle or a sausage pricker. You know, we're a farm, we have lots of needles for animals around here. Give us a one, two, three hole prick. 
If you start getting air along the way, air bubbles, you're going to want to prick them. You're going to want to prick them or you have blowouts. Okay, guys? So let's get this thing stuffing right now because we're running out of time. Rabbit sausage. We're gonna stop right there. Pinch, twist. Four, five, six. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. Pinch. Three, four, five. Six is good. We'll keep going. We're gonna hold on that. Rabbit sausage. I like doing one at a time. It just, especially if you're new at it, it's a lot better. All right, and sometimes you'll have a blowout. It happens to all of us, just like that. Could be the casing, could be me. Um, so what we wanna do now is, you can salvage this a little bit. Come down here before, it might be a smaller one. And just twist. You know, it's gonna be a tinier hoagie. <laughs> good, good size or? <clears throat> yeah trial size if you make a blowout just go ahead and cut it no problem there actually you know what we're gonna do me and Miranda are going to fry this up and have a little taste test so that's what we're gonna eat we're gonna fry that baby up ain't we Miranda good. all right now let's get this stuffing so we got to fix this so pull that meat out your hands are slippery, it's hard. Okay, get your knot, slip it back on. Poke, poke, poke. Right, everybody so we got all the sausages stuffed and we did kind of run a little water over them because you might have some stuff on the outside from your hands kind of rinse them up and pat dry them with some paper towels you want these things dry and you want them to dry in the refrigerator overnight you want to let those seasons just marinate you want to you want that goodness to have its way in there overnight you know you could just go ahead and start cooking them or smoking them now I don't recommend that I recommend letting them sit you might as well look at it as they're marinating. So tomorrow, we're going to have these on the smoker. Hickory smoke on the rabbit sausages. You guys, I can smell the basil coming through. These things are going to be a delight. Maybe next time I'll put some cheese in there, but this, this is going to be great. What we're going to do next is, before we, before, you, before we leave, guys, don't leave yet, we're going to try that little baby sausage real quick. And we're going to put these in the fridge. And if you see any water pulled up, Get rid of the water. You don't want no water. You want these babies dry. Let's put them in the fridge and let's get to cooking that little weenie. You don't want to heat them up very hot. If you heat them up real hot, they will split and blow up on you. So keep your temperature low when you're cooking them. My favorite way is to add a little bit of lard or oil in a pan, slightly move them around, keep them covered with the lid, let these babies hit 160, 170, 180, and they're done. Uh, internal temp. But you want to put a lid, and you want to keep them moving. You keep them in one spot, they're going to pop. Same with the fire on, the, on your grill. You don't want a real hot fire, because the casing will blow out on you. Our stove, we use 1.8. That's what I use to cook these little sausages. So you want to keep it rolling around in the lard, get the skin all 
Cover it in oil and cover it. So when you're cooking these guys, keep turning them and they'll pop. I already had a bad end on this one. So let's give this a try, shall we? Wow. I love it. I freaking love it. Tastes like chicken. I mean, it tastes like a chicken hot dog. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's mild. It's got the brown sugar coming through. The seasonings are only gonna get better overnight. But when you put smoke to this, forget about it. It's gonna be killer. I will see you guys at the smoker tomorrow. All right, so the smoker is heated up and preheated to temperature. We're going to be rocking around 190 to 200. Let's get the sausages, let's get them on there, and let's get rolling. Rabbit sausages. How cool is that? Not any sausages, basil sausages. Dum ba da boom, bum 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 bum. Hooray! <laughs> All right, everybody, let's get these babies on and rocking and rolling, shall we? All right, we got them right here in the middle. We got a hot spot on this side, a hot spot on that side. I think we're gonna be just perfect right there. So let's do this, guys. 190, 200, and this is gonna be delicious. Welcome back, welcome back to the barbecue channel. Woo! Would you look at them bad boys? Rabbit sausages. Oh yes, rabbit sausages now what we need to do now is guys don't they look nice we've been smoking for a little while i'm gonna unsnip these with scissors snip snip and we're gonna check some temps at this point the casings are dry so you can just snip these apart and then we can start laying them out so let's do that right now and i'll be right back okay everybody we got the rabbit sausages lined up looking so pretty and nice smoky looking i mean hickory smoked rabbit sausages these things are going to be amazing y'all that's our bull jackson watching us barbecue he hates cell phones <laughs> anyways this is destin right here we got a steer named max over there yeah we do name our steers but anyways, I think they've had enough smoke. You go too far, the skins is going to start shriveling. I mean, can you believe the liquid in there? Look at that. It's amazing. So let's get these off here and get them in an ice bath. All right, we are in the kitchen, and I just put them in the ice bath. Sorry, my phone was overheating because it's so dang hot out. So anyways, I had to hurry up and get them in the ice bath. We got them in the ice bath. You know, you only need them in there a minute or two, not even that. Get the water coming off of them and just start plating them. Let's set them on a plate so they can dry out a little bit. And guys, do these look amazing. We're gonna get them dried off, wiped off from the black stuff that might've been on the smoker. And yeah, then we're gonna eat them tonight. We're gonna actually package up a few um, for some friends. And we're gonna eat, and I mean eat good guys. All right, everybody, after chores, we got our rabbit sausages. Let's get these things fried up. Put some bacon grease in here. You want low heat, real low heat when you're doing sausages so they don't bust. Come at you live from the ranch, guys. We got the rabbit sausages. You can only hear the sizzle, the hickory smoke, the basil. we can do now is give it a try all right guys 
I can't even believe how good this is. It's just so delicious. It's better than any hot dog you probably ever eat. I love rabbit, and I love being able to put it in a sausage and eat it with mustard on a bun. It just, it's fantastic, and I love it, and I would definitely do it again. I do recommend doing this. Catch us up on the next videos. Please subscribe, like, and share these videos. We love you guys. Peace.